Okay, well, I'd like to welcome uh, those who are here today and those who may be uh, uh, online presently or joining us throughout the day to the first of four workshops on Persianate subalterns. Uh, I was inspired by this idea a number of years ago and have finally managed to bring it to fruition with the kind assistance of both the British Institute of Persian Studies, for which I'm very grateful, and also uh, internally to the University of Edinburgh to their uh, Edinburgh Research Innovation Funds for providing the live streaming and the Twitter accounts. Uh, my very good assistant, Sarah Hopkins, who's been organizing the whole thing, uh, and these materials will eventually be archived as well. The first of these presents a particular problem. If we know anything about subalternate theory, that is basically non-elites, and its origins as a theoretical paradigm in both the Indian subcontinent, but also in the history of the low concept, which actually has its roots in 17th century English history, people like Christopher Hill and others who pioneered that idea of looking, looking up rather than looking down. Uh, these kinds of subaltern or non-elite voices are particularly difficult to recover, if you will, in pre-modern times when the minority of the population was illiterate. Subalterns are reasonably recoverable today, so they're quite vocal, given the internet. But when it goes back to the populations of yesteryear, as it were, we only really have elite manifestations of cultural and other political and economic kinds of activities. And so it's quite difficult to recapture these voices. So the first of these is actually possibly uh, the most challenging in the pre-modern period, which I'm defining in Persian culture in terms of the pre-Safavid period. Who are these people and what are the means we can use, be imaginative and creative, to try and find out who they were, what they were doing, what they were thinking. And so that's why I'm very grateful to have such a wide range of workshop papers today from all different kinds of angles um, to begin to find out what was going on among non-elites, Persianate, if you will, non-elites in the period uh, prior to the rise of the Sophomore in the late 1400s, the late 1500s. There will be three more in this series, the Sophomore period one. Uh, there will be a further one uh, in sort of pre-modern, uh, 19th and such century, and then there will be a modern one as well. Um, and so this is the first of them, but possibly, in my view, the most challenging because of the question of sources. So that's why I ask folks to begin to also talk about the kinds of sources that they're using and what these are recoverable to generate a new kind of pre-modern medieval field. Um, we tend to get pulled into a lot of political, current political stuff and current economic stuff. And really, early history is where my interests lie. And so part of this project also is to recapture that interest find some new sources for that kind of period. I'm very pleased that our first speaker is Dr. Susan Balbaye. And if you are ready to rock and roll, uh, we are ready to go. 